What's up, guys? Welcome to the Being Beautifully Honest podcast and channel. Thanks for being here, for being subscribed. If you're not, go ahead and hit that button. And if you're listening on YouTube, hit that like button. It's like walking in the room and hitting that light switch. Let's brighten up the place and get into this reality chat. We went bike riding a little bit ago, and he suggested that the dilemma I'm in at the moment is like in my head. Like, it's kind of like mind over matter. It and many it is in our head because if you don't feel good about yourself, you know, I mean, that plays a factor. That's always been a factor for me yeah. in life, just general. Yeah. When I met Maurice, I felt like he thought I was prettier than I felt I was. Yeah. That's just yeah. always been me. But in this particular yeah. instance, it's a potential medical side effect. I've talked to some physicians that have said, when they have a patient that's diagnosed with breast cancer, like they give all of their patients like an antidepressant. Like, really? Mm -hmm. All of them. You know, I didn't feel depressed, Mm -hmm. but I think it's both. I think it's whatever medical aspect of it. And I think it's like, I just don't feel pretty. Like, I don't have no hair. I've been trying all kinds of stuff, like, for real. I really, really have. I really have. Well, I have something for you. I don't think it's tried at all. I don't know if I want it. (laughs) Just because how you're looking in your face. And I'm bearing gifts to try to help you spice up life. Okay, so I bought some. Uh, Clearly, they're to exercise, like Kegel exercise. Kegel, yes. Because I use the Yachty eggs. I, I know that. you use those. Right. But the egg is like that. Those long little things hanging down, what are you supposed to do with that? Like, during the course of the day. <laughs> I don't have, yeah. Well, I may need to take these back, because these are... <laughs> They should have wrote beginner on here. On to more things. Now, here we go. This is fun. Rechargeable kegel ball. Child, you put this thing in there and that battery go off. It's kind of like a vibrator. We'll have a whole scene wherever you are. Let me see. I can't my little kegel ball, my egg dropped in the toilet. <gasps> and it flushed? It went down the toilet. <gasps> I don't know what she was thinking about this gift. It's E for effort every day when it comes to Andrea because at least she brought something trying to help a sister out. So, you know, I'll try anything. You know, we got plenty of toys. We'll just add this to the stack. Have you thought about maybe, you know, taking like a boudoir shoot or like sexy photos? Um, I've done it and I had a great time. He wasn't. I hired a female to do mine. So, and but you did it for him, right? The pictures were right. for him. But they were also for me, too, to a certain degree. Because okay. doing a shoot like that, can re- you feel empowered. You really do. So, I'm open to that. I think you should. Yeah, I, give me her number so I can give her a call. A whole sexy boudoir shoot. I think Maurice will love it. I think it'll... Pardon the pun, get a rise out of him. However, I don't know if it's actually going to help me. But I'm open for anything. And we got to get it worked out. Because I legit feel bad that we already are having a conversation about I don't get enough. And then I get into this little slump where you're getting less than what you already thought wasn't enough. Now I'm trying to play therapist. Which I'm not. Disclaimer. I suggested that we go, like maybe like a sex therapist or, yeah, or well. something along that line. Yeah. So I do think sex therapy might help, just to kind of have a third person to kind of say, no, 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 that's not what she said, or no, 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 that's mm-hmm. not what he said. Mm-hmm. It's a difference from what people say and what people Here. hear. Mm-hmm. I'm into any kind of therapist, premarital therapist, aftermarital therapist, crisis therapist, because I believe sometimes professionals can render a really unbiased opinion. So I feel like I'm going to try everything that she suggested. (laughs) Do you think he would listen and like take advice from the therapist? Because that plays a big part. That's a big question. I don't know. Because in life, I feel like it's hard for Maurice to change his own personal train of thought. 
to be open enough to move on to somebody else's. Um, he says that he listens to a lot of things I say. Like, it may not look like it at, yeah. the, at first mm -hmm. blush, but a lot of the decisions and choices that he's made, he says that he listens to a lot of them. But usually when we're having the actual conversation, um, it's like a lot of work. Like, a lot of times it's a lot of work. Mm -hmm. It's a lot of work. So even when we were with the, the pre-marriage counseling lady, she gave us lots of nuggets, you know. And while we were sitting there, he would say, now that makes sense. When you put it that way, that makes sense. As you guys start, you know, painting that really clear picture, Mm -hmm. of all the stuff that I'm going to have to do. I just, I'm going to reorganize some things I'll, I'll delegate to. Without your help, I probably would have never got that done. Thanks. Uh, you're welcome. Thank you, babe. And I'm looking at him like... I've been saying that. I know you heard me say that. <laughs> like, I know, I know. said it exactly yeah. like yeah. she said it. We went... All right, guys, so you, you heard that clip, and it was extremely painful to listen to. And listening and watching is even a bit more dreadful. But listen, guys, it's it's the same old story when it comes to Kimmy and Maurice. I'm definitely not here to say anything that is new or profound or expound on anything that anyone else may not have already touched on or elaborated on in explicit detail but I'm I'm just like sitting here listening to this chick talking about pleasure devices if you will and saying how they have a stash of them and they'll just add more to the pile that her friend brought over all of this stuff is about Maurice and What's extremely painful for me when I sit here and I listen to this is the fact that we're not talking about a woman who just has low self-esteem because she had definitely admitted that. She said she hasn't felt as attractive as Maurice has said that she is because she doesn't really feel that way about herself. Maurice is a disgusting, narcissistic, in my opinion, sex addict. And so no amount of counseling with her is going to fix that. I feel that he actually needs some psych meds, like really, and I'm not even trying to be funny, but she's the one that really needs the fixing because when she really, truly, if she ever does, well, she probably won't, but I'm just saying, if she ever really gets that true therapy that she needs and finds out who she really is, then more than likely she will see that this man that she decided to marry, it was, it was a chapter in her book that she really needs to move on to the next chapter. And so seeing her talk about how he has been saying it's all in your head, it's all in your mind. This is a man that will not listen to reason, will not really take in advice from therapists or even when they were doing the interview on TGIF and Claudia, like she like chimed in and she was just like, this is just like horrid right now. Like Maurice, do you regret anything that you said you take anything back and I mean he refused to do that right so her doing all of this stuff on the show is like is this just for a storyline at this point because you're clearly accepting of who he is and him not caring about how you feel because when you are in a marriage and it's not supposed to just be sex. It's supposed to be intimacy, like literally. And I'm not saying that there aren't times when wives, when women are not really into it at the moment, but they're just doing it to please, you know, please their husband. I'm not saying that that never happens. <laughs> like, like Gina and Pam said on Martin years ago, they said, we all fake it sometimes. <laughs> it's okay. So I'm not here to say that that never, ever happens, right? But 
to be a woman who isn't just feeling low or feeling down about their looks or having just everyday run-of-the-mill normal insecurities, but you actually have been going through a cancer battle, a fight for your life, and you've gone through surgeries, chemotherapy, radiation, and to even have this as a topic of conversation when you're just really just trying to get back to feeling better after God being so amazing, allowing you to be fully cleared, not healed, because I believe God is a healer, but doctors, they just treat. So you've been fully treated and they don't see any more cancer. That is a blessing, but that is also a rough road to go down. So to go through all of that and all this man can think about is his wee willy winky and how he feels is absolutely insane. But see, when they played the clip from season one of her and him being in counseling with a therapist and he was placating her and really just, you know, just being full of crap when he was telling the therapist, well, you know, now that you put it that way, I understand and I'm going to make a conscious effort to be better and blah, blah, blah. And then she admits years later and seasons later to a friend that the things the therapist said was the same things that she was saying to him. He obviously knows that, but he didn't care. He was just placating her at the moment and he's going to be who he's going to be. But she's sitting here happily giggling and smiling and, and, and acting like, you know, it's all good. Okay. Yeah. Maybe I'll do a boudoir uh, photo shoot. Maybe I'll try out these toys. We had a whole stack of them. We'll add more to the pile and try these on and see how that stuff, the sex toy stuff is just really ridiculous because when it comes to women and sex toys and listen, I'm not speaking from experience. I'm not judging anybody that uses this stuff, but Praise God, been married for 25 years. Me and my husband, we got a great thing going on. And I haven't really, not even really, I haven't had to go that route. So, but usually I thought the sex toys was for the pleasuring of the woman when your man is either not around or you ain't got a man or whatever. (laughs) That's what I thought it was for. But for her to say that she has a whole stash of them, she was speaking in terms of, those things being for him to get him off. So what in the world, not that I want visuals or want details, but what in the world is going on in that household? It is just really too much TMI and her admissions about herself and her attempts at trying to be better or whatever. Like it means nothing to him because she's going through efforts to try to feel and, and look as if she's really into it with him. And she honestly really isn't. So really she's the one that really needs help. I'm not saying that he doesn't need help. This is like (laughs) Funky Nineveh said when they were being interviewed on TJF, he was like, well, clearly you ain't going anywhere. So we, you know, we all pretty much know that. And that's fine. No one is here to say she just needs to get out of the marriage. People can make suggestions. And of course, that's there's nothing wrong with that. But these attempts that she is making, they're all for him. And they really don't mean anything because she's doing these things to try to give off as if she really wants it. And... She already admitted he's getting it. I'm just not into it. And he also wants me to act as if I'm into it when I'm really not. And so that's why he was saying it's all in your mind. That's a mind thing. It's it's in your head. When he honestly should just be happy that she's just rolling over and, like they said, taking it. Taking one for the team. Taking one for... <laughs> for the the wide you know the wide back (laughs) husband of hers like she's obviously giving in now 
I, it's like all of this extra stuff, we don't really care to hear about it. It's just too much. All of these things that they're talking about is just absolutely ridiculous because they don't mean anything to Maurice. He doesn't care. He just cares about himself. And so the few times, because I'm quite sure just the few times when she was either in surgery or going through the chemo treatments and going through the radiation treatments and just having a little bit of that downtime that she had to have, she was still giving it up to him. She's not going to admit it, but I truly believe that she has. And the reason being is, again, for him, because she doesn't want him to step out because she knows his history and she knows his pattern. Listen, they're the ones that chose to bring this dysfunctional situation to the the television for people to watch and it's very painful it's very painful to see so i just wanted to talk about that real quick guys because to see her sit here and this so-called friend i mean her sitting there and almost it agreeing with maurice and saying yeah well you know it may be in your head i was like what Instead of her being on Kimmy's side and saying, like, girl, you were fighting for your life. You shaved your head and you were losing the the hair that was trying to grow. You were bald. You were feeling unpretty. You were feeling pain. You were going through all of this stuff and you're sitting here worrying about how he feels, being pleasured. When you're in pain, like, that's absolutely ridiculous. Now, a real friend, I believe, would have said some stuff like that. So that's why I said so-called friend. But I'm sure she, you know, says that's her real friend. And that's fine. I don't care. But I'm saying I couldn't imagine having a conversation with someone that I deemed as a friend. And I'm sitting there basically agreeing with the husband and bringing over some stuff that's going to help her to help him get off. That's crazy. So anyway, guys, I just wanted to talk about that real quick. Let me know your thoughts in the comments section, guys. Thank you so much for being here, liking, and subscribing. I'm Beth, just being beautifully honest. So until next time, I wanted to keep it brief, beautiful, and now I'm going to say bye.